Welcome to Privy2, a location sharing platform focused on user controlled privacy preservation. If we navigate to privy2.me, we will get an overview of the platform, including information on why it was developed and what we feel are the three pillars essential to a secure privacy sharing application. Within these three pillars, we focus on encryption, obfuscation, and of course, sharing, which is the bedrock of this application. In the download section, you'll see that we have Android application and the iOS application coming soon. And right now we have a beta or a prototype of our mobile web platform. If I click on the mobile web platform, I'm presented with a login screen for the Privy2 application, which allows me to log in with my email address and password, or actually register the device uh, down below, or register an account down below. Uh, if I don't want to do this right now and I just want to test this out, I can click the share once button and it doesn't require that I log in, but the user experience will be the same whether you've logged in or you're actually choosing to share without logging in. Sharing once, I'm prompted to actually get my location. Now this will require that I enable uh, GPS or location services on my device. And once I've clicked that button and I've, been, I've enabled my GPS on, on my device, you'll see that the browser actually accesses my location uh, and then shows roughly where my location is uh, with a marker as well as a cone of uncertainty or circle of uncertainty, um, which is based on the accuracy of the, the device that's actually picking up your location. So this will range depending on if you're using a mobile device with GPS uh, tracking turned on, uh, or if you're using your mobile browser or a web browser to get this information. Within this view, we have the option of adding a series of location views. So if I add a location view, I'll be prompted with a drop down to pick the obfuscation or geomasking technique that I want to use. Uh, so in this case, I might choose a 200 meter radius random circle that contains my location. And you'll see that we're given a random uh, circle in this case that does have my location within it somewhere. Um, and I can choose based on this location view, um, additional information. One, I can choose the specific key. Now this is the key that I would share with a colleague or friend or whoever it is that's gonna have access to this location. And this will be unique to that location view. So a randomly generated key is given to me here. Uh, this is probably the most secure option, uh, but I can also choose to change this to something like Chewbacca, whatever key I actually wanna make here. I'm gonna save that key. And this is my location view that I'm gonna share with someone who I want to have access to this level of location information. I can also temporally obfuscate my location as well. So change the actual time that I'm reporting. In this case, I'm gonna buffer my current time by one hour. Uh, so give me a little bit of leeway, not report the exact time that I'm sharing this. If that's one location view, I can add another one. And in fact, I can add numerous other location views to my, uh, to my application here. One other one I want, want to do here is geographic coordinates. So my exact latitude and longitude in this case as determined by my browser. I'm gonna specify the key here as, again, another randomly generated secure key here. Uh, and ideally I would wanna keep a very uh, secure key and only share that with the individual who would unlock the location. But for demo purposes, I'm gonna change this key to something like my partner one, two, three. Terrible key, but uh, it's just for demonstrative purposes here. So my partner one, two, three, I'm gonna save that key. I'm gonna go to my temporal component. I wanna report the exact time that I'm choosing to share this information. I'm gonna save that. Now I've got two views of my same location. Lastly, I'm gonna add one more location view here. I'm gonna report it to the nearest province or state. I'm in the province of Quebec in Canada. So it's gonna to zoom to the province of Quebec or just highlight the bounding box in this case. If I go to the key, I'm gonna actually choose to make this public. So bypass the key to unlock it. So it's gonna be non-encrypted or unencrypted information that's actually shared. Save that. I'm gonna change my temporal obfuscation to hiding my time. I don't want that to be public. So I'm gonna save that. Now I've got three separate location views, all reporting the same location, but just different levels of spatial and temporal obfuscation. Now I can choose to publish the encrypted location. And once I've published that, the encrypted location views, except for the public one, which is not encrypted, are stored on the server at this URL here, privy2.me slash L slash random sequence of characters. And this random sequence of characters is only because I've chosen to share this once. If I had logged in 
that would be my login ID that I'd be choosing to share. You have a QR code that just represents the same information visually or something you can share with an individual by scanning uh, through their phone, or you can share, share on social media if you'd like there as well. We also have the option to get the raw JSON representation of this, the encrypted JSON string, uh, or actually get a QR code of the actual data, not just the link to the data uh, by clicking the QR bu code button there. If I click this link now, it'll take me to a new page where you can actually see the results of this as a user would see it. If I chose to share this URL of my location views with someone, this is what they would see if they were to go to that website. In this view, uh, I can actually see the public location, right? This was the, well, the unencrypted public location. I can click on it to get the information associated with that that I chose to share. Now, if I'm a colleague or friend and I have the key Chewbacca, I can enter it here and unlock that location at a higher resolution, so with less obfuscation associated with it, um, at the level that I chose to share that kind of information, right? So we have more information on the actual time. And again, this is a, a range, um, a two hour window within which the, the time uh, is reported. Uh, and again, if I am my partner, for instance, I could type in my partner, the key that I provided my partner, unlock the location and get the exact location that I chose to share only with my partner, only with the person who had access to the key there. So the idea of this is this is all encrypted information that is all the different location views that I've chosen to share, even though I've only ever actually recorded my location once. I've created these different views. I've shared them with different people that have different keys that unlock different levels of information associated with my spatial and temporal location. Uh, and I can have access to this information uh, through a web browser or through a mobile web browser. Uh, coming soon are our Android and uh, iOS applications. I uh, hope to see you testing those out soon as well. Please give this a, sh uh, a test. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, privy2.me. Thanks very much.